Hello everybody, it's Rose and I am back with the 47th and second last unbagging from the humongous Peggy Buy haul. So, um, if you've missed any of the other videos in this series, I'm going to link the playlist up in the corner. And you can go back and you can watch any of the videos that you've missed. Um, and any, and I've got two more that will be shot after this, and those will be posted to that playlist um, as soon as they go live on, well, not live, but as soon as they're public on YouTube. Okay. Okay, I know which one this is. So, um, just a, a quick recap. I ordered 44 diamond paintings from Peggy Buy in January that were uh, identified, sorry, uh, in their free, free just pay shipping. So uh, I went crazy. I bought 44 of them. I ended up paying $317 shipping. After I thought about it overnight, I thought, what? Are you crazy? And so I decided I'm going to go back and I'm going to see if I can get my money back because they had not yet shipped the uh, the paintings. I got in touch with Peggy Buy and they were very, very nice to me over the course of, an, of the next few days. And then, I don't know, around January 11th or something like that, they said to me, uh, oh, it's so sad. We can't, we can't refund your money because we've shipped the paintings. Uh, but you can have four free paintings of your choosing, any four free paintings you want. So I asked any four and like, I just wanted to confirm and she said, yes, any four. So I picked three of their more, most expensive paintings. And I also picked because, uh, those of you who watch my channel regularly know that I like, uh, all of the cat tapestry pictures. And so I'm, my absolute favorite picture is um, the first cat tapestry that I did. Well, I'm not sure it's my absolute favorite picture, but for a long time it was my absolute favorite, and it will always be one of my favorites, was the first cat tapestry picture that I did. Um, and so I am going to do the entire series in like a 60 by 80 square, um, eventually. But meanwhile, I'm buying pictures from that series in partials um well not partials I don't like partials as such but I'm doing them in special drills like I do well I haven't done any special drills yet but I like the look of them so I picked the cat tapestry even though it wasn't one of their more expensive ones I picked the cat tapestry because I love the cat tapestry and this one looks really pretty so uh, before I get into the canvas and straightening out the canvas and all that, let's take a look at the boring stuff. So here's the toolkit that they send. Um, just a regular one placer, a plate, a boat rather, a plate of wax. And uh, this is the first time that I got metal tweezers from Peggy Buy for a special drills. So usually they send me um, the black plastic. So this is my fourth special drills from uh, Peggy Buy with this haul. Okay, so there we go. That is the backstory on this and the boring stuff. Let us straighten out the canvas. So what I do to straighten out the canvas is first, oh, that's just paper from one of the other envelopes I opened this morning. Okay, it is first Pippi. Oh, right. she's watching the dogs outside because there's a park across from our house. So she's watching the dogs and she wants to be out there playing with them. Pippi, hey, Pippi, come here. Come here, baby. Stop. Sorry for the noise, but it's, what time is it? It's probably around lunchtime. Yeah, it's 11, so there's a lot of people out walking their dogs in. Okay. Uh, so she's going to be barking. There we go. All right. Isn't that beautiful? It's such a pretty picture. Like, it really is such a pretty picture. Um, and so, yeah, to do it 
in a 60 by 80 full square. It's going to be amazing. But this is going to be super fun. Uh, okay, but I'm going to give you the boring stuff now. So this diamond painting, I call it Cat Tapestry Number 4, the Teacup Cat, and it's a partial with special diamonds. Uh, it's um, advertised as 57 by 47, but I believe that that is the canvas size. And because it's a partial, it doesn't matter that, that much, but I like to measure anyway. So, because I like to know, you know, what size frame I'm going to need. So... It is uh, 50 centimeters high. Yeah, just about 50 centimeters high by 40 centimeters. So this one, when I chose it, was $15.82 Canadian. Uh, Peggy Buy has put their prices up since January. This one is now $21.14 Canadian. So I got a really good buy on it. Well, a really good buy, given that I got it for free. Um, I, am, I am so happy with this in every possible way. I made a very good choice with this diamond painting. Um, Lucky me. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that, uh, there we go. All right, so Micah wants to get into the shot. So let's take a look. There are 22 different special drills for this diamond painting. So that's going to be, um, I guess I'll leave that that way. Um, so that's, that's good. I, I like that. I like the ones that are fairly complex. Um, and I'm going to be working on a special drill as soon as I finish the two works in progress that I've got now, which is the abstract stained glass flower and the Japanese princess. Um, then I think I need something a little smaller that's going to be just a lot more fun. Well, not a lot more fun, but just something different because I've never done a special drills before. All right, so most of the drills come in this, what I call ribbon packaging. I just made up that term. Uh, so let's take a look at them. And I think because there's they're rhinestones, they will benefit from the, the light shining off them. Okay, so the uh, so there's this, the silver or the clear or the white rhinestones, very pretty. Oh, boy, do they sparkle. Okay, I, I'm liking this already. And we've got like a red, number two. Number three is another sort of orangey red. Number four is a golden yellow. Look at the sparkle on those, wow. Number, oh, and there's more number four, so that's nice. Oh, and there's more number four. And then we've got number five, which is a pale, almost like citrine, I think. And then six is like sapphire blue. Seven is like an emerald green. Eight. I don't know, maybe that's more of a citrine. I don't know. Uh, I don't know my gems all that well. Ooh, that's a beautiful deep blue. Wow, gorgeous. And then we've got these tear shaped. They look. Let's see. Are they rhinestones? They're rhinestones. Oh, maybe they are rhinestones. It's hard to tell. They are crazy sparkly, though. So that was number 10. And then we've got 11, which is like an amethyst rhinestone teardrop shape. And then the orange teardrop shape. 
that orange? Yeah, it's an orangey red. Teardrop shape. So it's, okay, so 10, 11, 12, and then 13 is the you know, golden yellow teardrop. Again, rhinestone. And then we've got the bigger um, rhinestones. And these are opalescent, and they're just beautiful. They are, I don't know if you're getting the effect of the sparkle that I'm getting, but they're blinding. This is going to be a blinding diamond painting to work on. It's going to be like my crystal poppies that I did a while ago. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. Okay. Uh, and then we've got the purple opalescent larger diamonds, which is, uh, or larger rhinestones, which again, beautiful 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 and then the pearlescent white diamonds um, lovely then we're up to 17 and this wow oh, okay these might be my favorite so far they're like incredibly sparkly even through the camera you're getting an effect of the sparkling but let me tell you, it is blinding to see the sun bouncing off of these and the light bouncing off of these with my eyes. And then 18 is this beautiful deep rich amethyst uh, teardrop. Um, well, not teardrop. These are more like seeds. Okay. All right. So that's that. I love that. I love that so, 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 so much. All right, and that was 18, and then we've got 19, which are these larger uh, seed-shaped uh, diamonds, rhinestones, and again, they're um, opalescent. 19, there's 20, and they're the larger orange, oops, orangey pinky opalescents. Beautiful. Not a lot of them, but they're going to just add a little oomph. And then this purpley blue opalescent. Again, the large seed shaped rhinestones. And then, oh, look at this. Number 22 is deep pink hearts. I love that. I do. I love that. That's beautiful. Um, wow. I am not, I was afraid I'd be disappointed with this cat tapestry because, as I said, the cat tapestry, one of my favorites. And you'll recall that I did get another uh, diamond painting in the cat tapestry series uh, from my Peggy by Hall. I'm going to pull it out and show it to you. So, this was the cat tapestry that I got uh, through the regular free just pay shipping. And I was so disappointed with it. It actually doesn't look horrible through the through the camera, but it looks horrible in real life. And it's about I don't know. It's about a sixth of the size of my um, sixty by eighty, and so of course it's not going to have the same level of detail and so forth. But I was disappointed. Um, but this, this does not disappoint me at all. This I am exceptionally happy with, especially since I got it for free. Yay. Uh, I'm just going to say um, that's it. That I'm very happy with this diamond painting overall. It is everything I hoped it would be and more. Um, I'm really impressed with the number of different special drills and they look all to be very very good quality so that's great um, the picture is really pretty I don't know if I'll frame it but I might tack it up in the guest room or something like that or you know just mount it on a poster board or, or a stretched canvas or something like that because I think this would look lovely on a stretched canvas um, yeah it's just it is really beautiful. I am looking, I didn't show you actually the, um, the drill area, but 
I'm as impressed with the drill area as I am with, take a look at this, I mean this, this flower here, that, it's just beautiful. The detail is lovely. And one of the things that I love about the cat tapestries is the banners, uh, not the banners, the borders that they have. I love those borders and this border just looks amazing. And it's gonna look just so elegant, I think. Well, elegant, you know, with all the bling. I'm not sure if that's elegant or not, but anyway, uh, it's gonna look wonderful with all of the bling added to it. I'm just oh, so happy. Anyway, um, so this is number 47 in my humongous Peggy by Hall of 48 free diamond paintings. Uh, I'm super happy with it, super happy with it. And um, I'm wishing I had made it the last one that I opened, but oh well. Um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. So there you go. That's it. Uh, I will definitely be doing a, a draw with me for this one. And I'll definitely show you the completed project at the end. But uh, this is a big win. Oh, big, big, big win. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have to stop gushing over it. Um, and say thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video as much as I like this canvas, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel. Why not? Why not? Oh, come on. And come back and visit with me again soon because I will be posting videos again soon. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.